Welcome to EA Sports PGA Tour Golf. I'm Sinek and this is The Road to the Masters. We're at number eight. He'll drop back now to one under par. Well, this is a strong par five to close out this front side. It measures 615 yards. Obviously, it's going to be reachable into by only the longest hitters. But still, if you play it the right way, drive in the fairway, the appropriate layup, you can make a birdie. Beautiful tempo to that swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. That's going to be up the left-hand side. Wayward from the tee, and this one is headed for the rough, Frank. safely back into the fairway. That was the job at hand, and it's a good end result. Now his third, staring right at the green. Yep, good work not to let that get away, and that's in for a par. Yep, you take those all day, every day, just a short putt there, and it is in for her birdie. We start the backside at Torrey Pines with the 454-yard par 4 ninth. This one not as daunting as some others here with a good tee shot. Birdie, definitely a possibility. Uh, right after the birdie, here's a tee shot, and it's going to wind up in the bunker.
Well, not this time. That one's in the rough. Might be a tough shot coming up. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. 150 yards to the hole, coming off a birdie on the previous, looking for two in a row. Well, one bunker to another, not a habit anyone wants to get into. Do you realize there's green grass on this hole? Bunker off the tee, now bunker again. And you're going to have so much sand in those shoes by the time we finish this hole. Line may have been a little more sunken in than we had thought, but all in all, not a bad shot out of the bunker. hands came through beautifully there. Good thump of the sand and a good chance to save par. Frank, that is painful. I mean, all you gotta do, just hit it, just hit it. Safely in. It's a par here at the 10th. And she'll remain at two under. Okay, that one in for a bogey here at 10. And that's going to drop him to two under. Our featured golfer here today had some moments, but maybe not the round one you're looking for, Frank. Too many mistakes, Rich. Uh, right now, don't think about the leader. Just worry about improving your own game. So that's... EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From La Jolla, California, just north of San Diego, live second-round coverage of the Farmers Insurance Open. So much to behold here at Torrey Pines, the ocean, the cliffs, the trees, the green grass, the blue sky, maybe even a paraglider or two as we check out the Friday leaderboard. We're looking at a tie at the top at seven under par. That one looking good. It's in the fairway here to start round two. We'll get right out to the action here as we head to the tee at the par four first. So, Frank, this is the second round of the season's second tournament here at Torrey Pines, and the young golfer we're following really playing well here in the first two starts of their young career. Nice finish as we saw at PGA West, and now good start to this week as well. A great start, Rich. I think if you look at golf over the last decade and that, remember Jordan Spieth, what a splash he made. When he, as soon as he came out on tour, he was ready to win money, FedEx Cup points, all the way to the top of the list. And then you look at guys like Sanjay M, you know, who was like always just one step down. We all went, we weren't talking about him, but week in, week out, he was putting his name on the leaderboard. We've got another career we're looking at right now that is very similar to those two players. Oh, this could be good. Rich, is that eight or nine feet? I don't know about that, but it is a great approach shot.
a dead-on look here for Birdie. Good putt. It's a birdie here at one. And she'll move to minus three for the tournament. This second round getting going from Torrey Pines. The second tournament of the year. And really, the story folks are talking about has been the play of our featured golfer here. The win last week out at the American Express in that first ever professional appearance. And now here we are five days later. And Frank, that same name is up near the top of the leaderboard once again. I'm even more impressed this week, Rich. You know, so often we say horses for courses, but you couldn't get two more diverse golf courses than last week, flat track to now Torrey this week, which is a bona fide U.S. Open golf course. If you can play well last week and win, that's one thing. If you can take that same game that you had and adapt it to this golf course, you just flat out good. Yeah, this is a hole where a big drive can really get you down there, and that is a big one here at two. No issues here. That is into the fairway. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. 130 yards left to the flag. It's a nice round number and the pin on the front portion. Uh, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. He has a 12-footer here. Starts a round than this. It is back-to-back -back birdies at one and two. And she'll move four under par. That finished off for par. He was the second. And he'll remain three shots off the pace. Well, this is one of the prettiest par threes you will ever see with the Pacific Ocean as a backdrop. You don't want to gaze at it too long because this better than 200-yard shot demands every bit of your focus and attention. This is a good one. Yeah, so hard to judge the distance on a steep drop-off like that, and that'll be into the bunker here at three. Well, next week, the California swing continues. We head up the coast to Pebble Beach. There's nothing like it. The AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Yeah, it started all those years ago with all the Hollywood stars, the great Ben Crosby. It used to be called the clam bake, but look what it's turned into now. Now golf is the stars. And if you want to be part of this, there's no better place. Come to Pebble Beach. Now from the bunker. You know, just a little splash out on this par three. Mm, 
that is a good-looking pass out of the bunker right there. Got that to stop in a good place, leaving just a few feet for par. Yeah, no mistaking that one. That is a good par here at the third. And he'll remain at four under. So that safely in. It's a par here at the third. And she'll stay three shots off the lead. Here we are now at the 490-yard par four fourth, the second longest of the challenging par fours here at Torrey Pines. A good tee shot is essential. And the par is a good score. Yeah, nothing to fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. 144 left to the hole, pinned just on the front edge. That's a good shot, and more importantly too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Fourteen feet to the hole. Oh, yeah, that one online all the way. It's in for a birdie. And she'll move now to five under par. Mm, boy, that's a good stroke. Just a fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And he'll stay a couple of shots off the lead. This par 4 fifth here at Torrey Pine South measures 454 yards. That's not overly long by today's standards. The key here is to keep your tee shot out of those fairway bunkers. If you do and you're in the fairway, then you have a reasonable chance to get out of here with a birdie. Okay, that's going to split the bunkers. A good tee shot here at five. This one starting a little left off the tee. Long drive, but a bad lie. Uh, wicked. So now with the ball below his feet, got to be careful this doesn't go right. Yeah. 
Oh, that's not too bad. Good shot. Inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside chance for Bertie. Now Noda, this for Birdie. All you have to do is start this online and let the slope do its thing. I don't see a lot of movement in it. Sizable putt from 16 feet. Good effort, but that'll run two, three feet past the hole. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. And she'll remain two shots off the pace. Okay, safely in for his par. And he'll stay at minus nine. So an action-packed first two rounds and a packed leaderboard as well with our featured golfer in a share of the lead after day two. So we can't separate them at this stage, but somebody, and I guarantee you... PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the south course at Torrey Pines Golf Course, it's third round coverage of a San Diego tradition, the Farmers Insurance Open. Moving day here at Torrey Pines on this Saturday, a lot of action to come as we look at the third round leaderboard. We've got a tie at the top here at 10 under par. So let's get out to the course as we join the action on the tee at the par 5 13th hole. Third round here from Torrey Pines, the Farmers Insurance Open, and this young golfer making quite a splash in the early part of their career. Good showing last week at the American Express at PGA West, and now, Frank, leading this tournament here into the weekend. I saw what you did there, Rich. You know, by the Pacific, splash. I, I got you there, yeah. Now, this is huge, too, and... Um, we just crave to see new talent. That's one thing, right? But when you see it, you want to see it develop. And we're watching, it could have been a rough diamond, but this polished version is built for prime time. Now from way back, better than 300 yards, a second to the par five. Oh, and that's gonna be into the first of the three step bunkers up that right side.
Digs into the bunker, getting set to play the third shot. And an awkward little bunker shot. Just splash it out, let the ball run towards the flag. Uh, that one kind of took off on him. That'll happen sometimes coming out of the bunker, and that scoots right on by. Pretty good read there. Definitely good speed, and it just skips a foot or so by. A very makeable eight-footer for birdie. Mm, confidently done there. That's in for birdie here at 13. And she'll move to 11 under. Okay, that one finished off. It is a bogey here at unlucky number 13. And with it, the lead is back down to one. We now arrive at the 437-yard par 4 14th at Torrey Pines. The canyon running along the left side of the fairway is the danger here. Errant tee shot here, Rich, but gonna have to muscle this one out of the rough. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is gonna be a tee shot that is set up just fine. This one's looking good. Oh, I always knew that was going to be a good shot when it left the club face. What's that? Eight or nine feet. Excellent shot. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. We're looking at 134 yards to the front, 122 to the hole. Pin in the back right portion of the screen. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. Just going to sneak on by. Not much to this one. It's for birdie. Nope. I could have erased the bogey from the previous hole, but no dice there. Okay, good putt, and a par here at 14. And this will stay a one-shot lead. No issues there, it is a par here at 14. And this will remain a one-shot advantage. On to the 15th now, relatively straightforward par four measuring out at 480 yards. Hit the ball straight, you'll be just fine. The problems come with a miss off the tee left or right into the rough near those eucalyptus trees. Nice long tee shot. Fairway does get narrow down there. A little unlucky to get into the first cut. Wayward from the tee. 
And this one is headed for the rough, Frank. See what he can do with this one. His second at the 15th. Just want to avoid the flyer lie coming out of that rough. Second shot now from just a foot or two off the fairway. It's a solid shot and a green in regulation, but a little away from the band. We turn to Notabagay the third for this look at birdie. And this is one where you just gotta keep the hand steady and the wrist quiet, making sure you get it started online. Absolutely perfect there, down the slope. It's in for a birdie. And she'll move to 12 under par. Oh, he nearly saved his par, but that comes up just a little bit short. Brilliant touch. Just oh for a little harder. Oh my goodness. That goes down, but it's a six at the par four. And that's gonna tighten things up a little as the lead is down to two. Coming down the home stretch here at Torrey Pines, 227 yard par 316. Three bunkers protecting the green, but there is an opening in the front. Yeah, even with the uphill slope, it's just hard to get a ball to stop on this green from that far back, and that'll run off long and into the rough. Yeah, that one came out hot, tough to judge sometimes, coming out of the sand, and that winds up well beyond the flag. Twenty one feet from pay dirt. No. Nope. Mm, 
not that time. Pretty good effort, but it'll wander a couple of feet by. Okay, that in for a bogey at 16. And the lead is going to drop down to a single shot. Okay, that's going to be finished off for his bogey. And he'll fall back down to 11 under. Crucial 17th hole here at Torrey Pines, 443-yard par four. Louis Oosthuizen hit it left here at the 2021 U.S. Open in the final round, and he paid the price. He did not win that major. And that will do just fine. It's amazing how well folks hit the irons off the tee nowadays, and that a prime example right there. After a good tee shot, Iona, this her second. Yeah, she's left herself 133 yards to go, and the pin on the left portion of the green. That's got to be disappointing. Good line in the fairway, and the approach winds up in the bunker. Okay, safely on the putting surface out of the sand. Would have maybe liked to run that up a little further, but that's not the worst shot in the world. Oh, that comes up well short. I bet he'd like a do-over. This is a nine-footer. Yeah, that's good putt. It is in for par here at 17. And she'll remain at 11 under par. No problems there. That's par here at 17. And he'll stay at 11 under par. This 18th hole is not overly long. 570 yards of par 5. And it's straight. Should be able to get home in two, but the key is you have to keep it in the fairway. If you hit it in that rough, you're more than likely going to lay up short of that pond and try to make birdie the conventional way. But if you hit it in the fairway, good opportunity to go for it in two and finish your round with an eagle. Yeah, that will get a little bit of run. That will be just fine. Oh, that is a great shot at the 18th hole here at Torrey Pine South. But the great players have had great moments. We know that.
Good shot right there, and it just hangs on that back portion of the green. On board in two, par five, still a good chance to get out of here with a birdie. Oh, that is a really good putt. Got it to throw out the anchor right near the hole. That's well done. It's an eagle here at 18, and that's going to wrap up our 18 holes of golf. Yeah, that's a good putt there. It's a birdie at 18. So our future golfer likely going to be doing a little toss and a turn tonight, working with a 54-hole lead and looking for that first PGA Tour win. Frank dial it back a few. Sports and the PGA Tour so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From La Jolla, California and scenic Torrey Pines Golf Course, it's the final round of the Farmers Insurance Open. Well, this is unquestionably one of the best spots in the sport. We know that by looking at the field. The golf course is immaculate. This is Southern California in all its glory as we check the Sunday leaderboard. We've got a tie at the top at 13 under par. So let's get out to the course already deep into the round as we head to the tee on the par 4 15th. Final round here on Sunday at Torrey Pines. Our featured golfer really playing some exceptional golf this week in career start number two. Leading the tournament, and Frank, you know there's nothing quite like a fresh face on top of a leaderboard, searching for that first ever PGA Tour victory. Yeah, this makes our job so much easier, Rich, isn't it? Just talking about someone brand new. We got exposed to them last week for the very first time when they were dipping their toes on the PGA Tour in their debut. But really, we're starting to fall in love with this game. It's got power, it's got finesse, it's got style, you name it. And it, it well, really, they're on top of the leaderboard for a reason. They're just playing better than anyone else in the field right now. Final round here at Torrey Pines on a Sunday, the Farmers Insurance Open, second stop on this year's PGA Tour schedule. And our featured golfer here, really with a great start to the career. Frank, two straight cuts made. You know how important that is as you begin your journey and really not always easy to do for rookies. It certainly isn't. I mean, already that puts you in like the top 50 or 60 each week, right? But put it in perspective for the millions of the people that play this game and the very, very few that even decide to turn pro. And then on top of that, the ones that get to play on the PGA Tour and then narrow that down to the ones that play in the weekend. This is how small this class really is and safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. Yeah, that's a really good shot. Had a nice upslope to work within the bunker. Always makes it an easier shot, able to take advantage of it. Yeah, I think he knew right away that was never going to get there. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And the lead will hold steady at two with just the 16th, 17th, and 18th left to play. Okay, that one finished off. We're a par. 
and the lead will remain at one with three holes left to play. So now to the final part three here at Torrey Pine South. It is the 16th, 227 yards, good hole with those three bunkers protecting the green. There is that slight opening in the front. It would take an outstanding shot to give yourself a chance to make a birdie. Okay, center of the green, good shot. Okay, a friendly bounce there, and that will make its way onto the putting surface. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. And break won't be a big worry, but speed will. This is going to pick up momentum as it works down the slope. Ah, the pace absolutely perfect there. Down the slope, it's in for a birdie. And that could be an all important one. It's now a two shot lead with two to go. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. And the lead will remain two with two to play. Next up, the penultimate hole at Torrey Pines, 443-yard par four. Have to avoid the fairway bunker, 275 yards down that right side. Showing no signs of a let up here. This tournament seemingly under control as that's in the fairway here at 17. This one starting a little bit left. Well, fortunately, that'll be safe from the canyon, but it is left of the fairway and into the rough here at 17. That just came out blazing. As soon as it hit the green, it was never going to stop. And a good iron shot, just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish, but still. We welcome in Iona Steven. This, a putt for birdie. Yeah, we're putting back up the gully here, Rich. You won't find a straighter putt on this green. Needs to give it a good run. Yeah, that's a nice putt. Getting it there up the hill was half the battle. This got there just a little wide of the mark. Okay, that's a good putt. It is in to save par. And this will stay a two-shot lead with one hole to play. 
Okay, she'll finish that one off for her part. And the lead's gonna remain two. Here we are at the finishing hole at Torrey Pines, 570 yard, 18. Idyllic par five, fairly straight the whole way, but that pond they call Devlin's Billabong always makes going for the green into a risky proposition. Yes, step one out of the way. It is in the fairway at 18. One more good approach shot could just about seal it. And that, I do believe, is into the bunker. Getting out more important than distance here as he readies his second. That is left and that is trouble. Nope, that is into the pond here at 18. Instead of bailing out to the right, he decided to shoot for the flag and it is gonna wind up costing him. Well, that did carry the water, but it'll wind up in the left-hand bunker that brackets this 18th green. Had to take the boxing gloves off on that one. No touch whatsoever. And this is a long, long putt coming back. All right, not exactly what you're hoping for, but safely on the putting surface with birdie still in play. Well, that takes the strain off the next one. Good lag putt right there. 11 feet away. Yeah, it's a birdie at the last. And that will write an end to the round here today. Okay, a shake of the head as that one is finished off. And fortunately, the lead's still a comfortable one at a full four shots. Well, Frank, I guess we can say hello world. It is a Sunday to remember our featured player, a champion for the very first time. Let the celebrations ring in, that's for sure, and let the career fully ignite and start and go stratospheric. So that should just about do it for all of us at EA Sports. Thanks for spending some time with us on the road to the Masters.